So today we're gonna quickly check what Nikita and BSG has been talking about for the pre-wipe or the for the next wipe or even for the 1.0 release. What they usually do is that they test something on pre-wipe event and then move on to the next wipe mechanic such as under barrel grenade launcher was added after the pre-wipe of players having a toss rounds of an explosive grenade. Similar to that, very likely gonna have a pre-wipe event and gonna have that mechanic in next wipe which is gonna be pretty short but anyways let's check out the full video and let's quickly and briefly go through the list of the changes of course it's not final totally reworked factory location with the new graphics with the new layout even so it will be based on the original factory but it will be different yes yeah, this one the silos changed into like actual compressor things like these ones also, there will be a new kind of event called Location to Location Traveling or Marathon. So, event will start at the quest to travel a list of locations in a certain pattern. Once event is finished, the mechanic will remain in the game. So, you will have an option to travel from locations. Map to Map Travel WIP, this one. Where you can see in a small letter thing, transfer to streets with 8k rubbles. Move items to stash like the BTR, extraction 4.9 rubble you can extract or move to other place. Which I guess you can do like multiple tasks at once. Like I don't know if, if there's like a lot of reason to do this. Or maybe they're gonna drop like a whole new event for it. Whole new event task for it. I mean to go to this this map, to that map, to that map, to that map, and then you will get like a bunch of rewards. At least you can move the items to stash and then move, so special extraction points the detailed information the exact game yeah they plan to do an event and they will put it as a you know permanent function they said also there will be mortar strike event events there's gonna be a higher chance for it if it happened at the start of the event then it remain as a permanent mechanic with a certain chance of occurring as you mentioned that in my twitter there was there was a like short uh, development yeah it's this one boom 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 Boom, 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 boom. You can see this is um, shoreline. The train, there's terminal side, uh, which is like a fortress. And then also the train. This is like edge of the shoreline map. Railway, yeah, railway bridge. So that's the part where he's talking about. So we will plan to have them as an option that you can try to avoid off and also maybe you will be able to use that for a particular reason i don't know we'll see tripwires and landmines mm -hmm. you will be able to install them mm -hmm. by both players and ai trip wire this one yep. you get tripped by this wire you will be able to tripwire the containers and the dead bodies too and there will be new boss called Partisan Boss. He will be on that feature, so he will booby trap everything. And one of their, one of his main reasons to be in the game, he will hunt down bad players. So we will implement the PMC Karma secretly at the first time. Buy pots and the gun resting. Also, we will lower uh, the progression rate in PvE a little because, again, to prolong the PvE experience. Hideout zone for equipment kits and mannequins.
which was actually like I was kind of surprised. I found the exact function talked about in Reddit. Dude Reddited about that function a year ago. The ability to, to have a few mannequins and a work on rack for easy and fast preload outs. I mean, it's like an easy thing to think about or maybe BSG actually checked this Reddit and then he, they were like, okay. And then they edited it like that. Maybe, who knows. But what I recommend you guys to do is if you guys have any ideas, put it on Reddit. They read edit. Cause Nikita's like official post about the EOD situation, the unheard edition situation was also on Reddit, which is like super weird. He didn't post it on Twitter ever. He posted on Twitter about the pleg plagiarist game, but Cultist Zone. The functionality will be explained later. Cultist hideout he was talking about is this one. You sacrifice some item and then I guess you get a reward. Max items five. New guns, M60. And the M60. They're adding. Or 762 belt fat gun. Pretty cool. Uzis, Desert Eagle, and SR3M. There will be pretty like this task actually i waited it for so long we will re finally fix the clipping of the gear of like helmets and gear really that's your top priority i i didn't really care on your character because like literally it's been forever in the game and we'll finally fix it uh, different quality of light features like manual input of values in in-game settings Grenade selection by pressing G, flashlight and tactical modules activation upon holding the button, and different kind of stuff which will give us more uh, optimization, of course, and more options to do stuff, new stuff for those for that systems. Okay. Pretty big list of uh, audio changes also. Detailed work on environmental sounds on locations. Optimization of the sound system for performance, refinement of the occlusion calculation algorithm. Adjustments of balance for active headsets. A serious Yeah, I think we watched it enough. Um let's let's talk about like his WIP things after that. This is not it. They're doing burning Merlotops in Arena, which might end up in Tarkov. And this was whenever they were featuring the factory new map for the guys to try out in TwitchCon. The sacrificial thing, we covered that. Factory, we covered that. This is... It's very likely Wu's expansion now. Where the ruined train station was. Ah, the ruined train station. Is that actually a ruined train station house? It looks like it. It was completely ruined and then there was no train and they added the train. Ah, that does make sen sense. It kind of looks like, um, yeah, it, it might be worse. And another variable, Zoom WIP, they're preparing. 
which I guess is going to be good, but at the same time, it might cause a lot of performance drop. Would be Light Talos. Light Talos is too, such a new map to be renewed, I think. Yeah, we already got this, the add to favorite thing. And then we got the simplified armor hit zones. They changed the fog, which is already in the game. Some people are saying it's, the fog is still in the game, but it's like a weather condition. Sometimes they are, sometimes they are not. So yeah, this is supposed to be Mechanic's place. You can kind of see it from his background of his profile picture, should I say. I was kind of confused because Proper is coming out as 3D model, which I will show you guys right here. And There was the 1.0 release, or rather they changed their name to Edge of Darkness for some reason. Anyways guys, I hope this covers what kind of event we will be encountering again on pre-wipe, what kind of content we will get on the next wipe which will be August, very likely second week because we still don't have pre-wipe events, a complete one. I will check after like 12 hours, they will be ending the most recent event they're doing which only lasted for 3 days. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these kind of contents, please leave a like and also if you guys want to check me out on livestream, check out Barry Basket, Twitch and YouTube and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.